This prototype gannet, made by the Ferry Aviation Company, is doing its first rocket-assisted takeoff trials at the RAE in 1950. The first aircraft in the world to be fitted with a turbine engine driving double propellers so that each propeller could be independently controlled, making it ideal for ship use. Its duties were twofold. It could be used for reconnaissance or strike duties, and the large bomb bay would carry two torpedoes. All weapons were enclosed except those fitted to the wings. Again at the RAE doing arrestor trials. The double member engine used with this machine and made by Armstrong Sidley was designed to run on kerosene or the normal diesel fuel. This made it extremely suitable for the fleet air arm. Again in 1950, the first sea trials in Illustrious. This was the first time that a turboprop had ever alighted on a carrier. During these trials, three different prototype gannets completed about 250 landings between them. We saw pictures of the prototype gannet performing at the RAE during 1950. Now these trials are taking place with Ark Royal in 1955. This aeroplane has developed into a three-seat anti-submarine search and strike aircraft. Its double member engine with independently controlled air screws makes it ideal for ship use. It has proved itself and became a mainstay of the fleet air arm for many years. A squadron of these machines also performed at the SBAC show, giving a clever display of formation flying. The Perry Gannett Mark V of the Royal Navy, with Armstrong Sidley double member turboprop engine. The Fairy Gannet 5 being rather British for a normally sedate and sober aircraft.